One of the biggest concerns people have with Ashes of Creation is that the game is going to be always on PvP with no PvE servers. People hear this and start losing their minds. They think the game is going to be a gank fest, a zerg fest, and that they're just going to get bullied off the server. And I'm here to tell you, that is not the case. Take it from me, I am the type of person that is that ganker you don't like. If any of you played Crowfall, you're probably aware. But you're going to have to hang with me for a second, because there are some nuances to the system that are not immediately explained that are honestly pretty smart. So let's get into why this is not going to be a big deal, and honestly, will add to the experience of the game. For those unaware, the corruption system is a system put in place to prevent players from just murdering players that do not want to PvP. The more innocent people you murder, the more corrupted you get. And with this system, you will incur more and more stacking penalties. At first, it starts off pretty, pretty light. People can attack you, then people can attack you and take your gear, and then most importantly, your stats start getting reduced against other players. This is the key detail that sets Ashes of Creation's penalties um, apart from other corruption systems. It's a hard limit. Eventually, you will start killing people and your stats will go down and you will not, you just physically will not be able to kill the other players because your stats get lowered against other players. And that, that is the, the detail. That is the devil in the detail that changes the whole game for everybody. As soon as I heard about the stat dampening, I was like, oh boy, this is not going to be a ganker game because uh, that's going to be... That's going to be the hard limit. That's going to be the thing that really just puts the brake on the ganking because eventually there will be a point where you can't do it and it will be annoying to have to deal with that. There are other MMORPGs that have a corruption system or have a criminal system, but they're more easily gamed with alt accounts or alt characters. And uh, this system with the stat dampening, I can think of ways to game it a little bit, but even that becomes difficult with stat dampening. Stat dampening really is the thing that sets this apart, and there are a few reasons why. Um, the number one reason is that the type of person that is ganking is either one, killing people that are so low level that it doesn't matter, that they just will win no matter what, or number two, and the one that people don't like to think about because it makes them sad, is that it's a really good player that just is way better than you at the game and can kill you in terrible gear. Because gear dropping for them is not that big of a deal because they don't need good gear to kill you. They can, they, you can outgear them and they will still shit on you. I did this in Crowfall where I was killing people completely naked, no armor, and the worst daggers in the game just to prove a point. So those are the two types of players. And with the stat dampening system, you are going to really put the brakes on how, how tyrannical those type, types of players can be. So it's a smart system because... You can put the restrictor plates on these type of players while also still having the excitement of world PvP and of occasionally people getting murdered. And you still have the player agency of like, oh, that's that guy I hate. I want to kill him. And then you can go and do it. The reason I really like them sticking to their guns on this system and not just caving to PvE servers is that I ultimately think it's going to make the game better because when there is 0% chance you can get murdered, it's just not as exciting. When, a, when there is that little bit, that little chance that you can get murdered or if you're, you know, being a little too risky or, you know, you see like a player lingering in the background, like you're farming mobs and you can just kind of see that guy off in the corner. Like, what's he doing? Like, it adds a little bit of a layer of excitement. Most of the time, I'm, I'm just calling it right now. Most of the time, you're not going to get ganked. 99% of the time, your average player is just going to be la di da di da walking around, having a good old time. But when you hear about somebody getting killed or when you get killed, it's going to be an event because it's going to be personal. The way I see this game playing out is that killing another player is, is an incredibly personal thing because you, as the person killing the other player, are subjecting yourself to likely a grind to uh, you know, unfuck your corruption status. Uh, like it's going to really need to be worth your while. And in fact, I bet there's going to be a lot of times where you kill a player in Ashes of Creation and go, oh, that wasn't even worth it. I think that's going to happen frequently. The thing this reminds me of is Chris Rock's stand-up comedy bit, Bullet Control. You don't need no gun control. You know what you need? We need some bullet control. We need to, make, we need to control the bullets. That's right. I think all bullets should cost $5,000. $5,000 for a bullet. You know why? Because if a bullet costs $5,000, there'll be no more innocent bystanders. <laughs> Every time somebody 
might get shot and be like, damn, he must have did something. <laughs> Should they put fifty thousand dollars on the bullets in his hand? And people will think before they kill somebody if a bullet costs $5,000. Man, I would blow your fucking head off if I could afford it. <laughs> One more thing I like about the corruption system is that it creates an incentive to not be a piece of shit on your server. So if I don't like Johnny, I can kill Johnny. And eventually Johnny will be saved by the corruption system because there's only so many times I can kill him before it just becomes too cumbersome for me to deal with the penalties. But... If a thousand people on the server don't like Johnny because Johnny has scammed them or is just saying crazy stuff in chat, that's a big deal for Johnny because those corruption penalties spread out amongst a bunch of players is not that big of a deal. The server can distribute justice via PvP. And I think that is great because a lot of these MMOs, people get toxic because there's no social ramifications because everything is like an LFG group finder you know, a pre-made thing. But if you're a piece of shit and a bunch of people on your server don't like you in a game where you can't name change or server transfer, that's a big deal. Like that really does matter. So I really like that. And I also just in general really like the, uh, I like that it's still possible to kill somebody even though it's not, this game is just not going to be a murder box. Uh, as, as much fun as I have in those games, as you guys know, um, it's just not going to happen. I think that, you know, that really murdering people is going to be a very personal thing. But I like that. I like that it's going to be personal because if you get killed, like, you know, you know, you maybe had it coming. Or, or uh, somebody just really didn't like you for some reason because they're subjecting themselves to a penalty that's likely, if I had to guess, likely the penalty for killing a player is not going to be worth it. So now that we've calmed down the more PvE crowd, we need to calm down the PvPers because some of the PvPers are probably watching this thinking, oh my god, it's a PvE Care Bear game. I can only kill one person every week. Uh, what the fuck is this? No, that's not the case at all. Uh, there's still going to be plenty of like consensual PvP or in world PvP. If you attack somebody and then they fight back, like it's game on. Um, all this system does is just restrict lobby ganking and just killing people that do not want to fight back at all. There's still going to be open world PVP with like guild wars where if, I believe if your guild is at war with another guild and you just see another person in that guild and out in the world, you can just kill them outright. There's going to be plenty of situations where you can kill people and corruption is not even factored in. Uh, this is only just those specific innocent, you know, bystander players. You can't just murder for the hell of it all the time. You still can, but you just got to think about it a little bit and make sure it's worth it. The only downside I see with this corruption system is that large streamers will have a chance to be griefed just due to the sheer amount of people watching them. This goes back to the, you know, collective justice. If you're a small streamer and you just have one or two people maybe griefing you every now and then, eventually the corruption system will help you out and, and bail you out. But if you're a large streamer and there's like a thousand people trying to kill you, uh, that's, that's a little different. That doesn't, it doesn't quite scale the same. But you got to keep in mind, these larger streamers are playing with advantages that us normal players don't have. So ultimately, I don't think it will be a big deal. I think the advantages they have will outweigh the disadvantages of having a bunch of people trying to kill them. That's just my prediction. I think that these people, th these streamers will have people protecting them if they need it. Uh, but this goes back to kind of collective justice will absolutely be a thing in Ashes of Creation with the current uh, corruption system the way it is, which... I think is maybe a good thing. Um, I think that having some top-down pressure to not be a total piece of shit uh, is nice because it hasn't really been a thing in MMOs for a really long time. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and join the Discord. It's free.